Good evening or afternoon, wherever you're watching from. I am Bob Ferguson, and tonight I'm going to have another conservation conversation in which I use my calendars to tell some stories and hopefully get you interested in purchasing one. Uh, if you don't know, I've been running this campaign. This is my ninth year now. I made calendars this year. I have 12 actual actually 12 different uh, choices and I sell them for $20 each or five for 90 that's shipped to you in the United States and all of the profits go to a conservation charity. Last year I was able to give $6,600 to the Rainforest Trust. The year before that I gave a little over 5,000 to the Rainforest Trust. It's been a, like I said, an eight year project. This is year nine. I've donated almost 20,000 with calendar sales alone and have saved over 20,000 acres worth of land. So we're gonna get into it right away because last time when I did the snakes of, of the Pine Barrens, I talked for 40 minutes. Once I get going, I cannot stop. So let's start. This year I'm offering a Songbirds calendar. I have offered this before. If you've purchased before, all of the photos in this are different than in years past. So we have a blue-winged warbler on the cover, and I'm going to warn you, warblers are my favorites. I have done uh, warblers-only calendars in the past, but uh, I feel like a lot of times I take some of the more colorful songbirds, backyard birds for granted, and I'm trying to market to a broader spectrum of people. I'd like to beat what I saw last year, which was about 600, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was 600 and something calendars. So looking to top that as I've done a little bit better every single year. So let's get into it. We're gonna start with January, a Northern Cardinal. Now this is something that I have found, I was actually down in Cape May one time, sitting at feeders, right? And there was a group of women there and they were kind of giggling and I'm just like sitting there waiting to see what shows up and the one girl goes, she's never seen a cardinal before. She's from the West Coast. And that kind of was like a, an epiphany or an aha moment for me because I was like, you know, I see these guys in my backyard at my feeders every single day, but that doesn't mean that they're not, number one, that they're not appreciated, but number two, people on the other side of the country might enjoy taking a look at this. So it's a Northern Cardinal in the snow. So I am going to include some of these guys, which are very common to me in here as well. When I first got into birding, one of the birds I wanted to see so badly was an indigo bunning, right? You got this little solid blue bird. And I said to myself, you know, I've never seen one of these in my life and I want to find one. Well, let me tell you, once I learned how to find these, I, I I do a lot of my birding by ear. That way I can keep my eyes to the ground for uh, snakes and herps. I call it uh, eyes to the ground, ears to the sky. That's my method, right? Turns out indigo bunnings in the spring and through the summer months are everywhere around me. They're, I mean, you're not gonna get looks like this or usually high at the tops of trees and stuff, but when you're in meadows, you can get like these closer to the ground looks. But what a gorgeous bird, right? So. Although it's common, it's not commonly seen. I would never seen one before I started birding. So I find that you only see what you look for, right? I'm gonna turn this heater off, hold on. Not sure why that was even on. Okay, let's go to March because I'm gonna try and get this going quick. My best look at a Northern Flicker this year. This is a woodpecker. They're often seen on the ground actually but I just, I loved the light on it. And that's not a typical shot for me. It's got the back of the bird, which, you know, I, I usually like to have them on a 45 degree angle with the breast showing, but I, I just loved the way the morning light was hitting that bird and it struck a pose for me. And I decided it was the one woodpecker that was gonna make my calendar. April brings the warblers here. This is a chestnut side of warbler. I saw this over in Jersey, but they're everywhere really. Uh, once, once the migrants get here, these are breeding birds in my area, which is basically Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Um, like I said, I am going to include six warblers in this calendar. And this is just, this is a favorite of mine that's also easy to find. And they don't always give you the looks like these, but I love the yellow caps and the, the 
the um, brown on the side, kind of like a bay breasted, and that black eye mask. It's a gorgeous bird. If you had cartoon birds, this would be one of them. Cedar waxwing. This is another bird that I always wanted to see when I first started birding. Um, it's funny, me and a friend of mine, TJ, he lives in my neighborhood, and he actually picked up the hobby this year, and I said, you know, it, cedar waxwings, like, they're around, they're easy to find if you know what they sound like, but then we ended up getting them in my neighborhood, and the flock stuck for, like, almost a month, so it was incredible, because both of us had them in our backyards, and this is actually a, a picture from my backyard, because it was pretty low, and you can see, it's like if somebody drew a bird with some Sharpie, Markers, that's what it would look like. So this was a rare treat for me. Like I said, I see them because I know what they sound like and I see them just out in my travels, but to have them in the backyard for three to four weeks is pretty incredible. We're gonna move on to another warbler. And this was a nemesis of mine, Wilson's Warbler. I've, like I said, I've been birding eight years. I've seen this guy twice ever. And I had really crappy pictures. I finally got to spend about 20 minutes with this guy down in a place called Palmyra Cove this year. So that's why I included it in this. It's got that nice black cap, yellow body. A lot of the warblers are yellow. Um, but this was like a personal triumph for me. So I decided to include it in there because it's never been included in a calendar before. July. I'd say about early to mid-May around here. The, the deciduous forests are full of scarlet tanager songs. Now, usually they're super high at the tops of trees too, but this one gave me a really great look and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bird. Tanagers are one of my favorite groups. They might be my favorite group, but that's when you're going into other countries. Uh, the tropics have tanagers by the dozens. Here, we only have the scarlet and summer tanagers. And then I think we have Western tanagers out West, but as far as my area, scarlets are the tanager. You have to get to southern New Jersey to pick up the summers. Of course, there's some rare ones that come up, but the summer tanagers are in southern New Jersey and, and further down into Delmarva Peninsula and stuff. But this is a great look for a scarlet, and I loved how the red just, just came out nice and bold against the green, so that made it into the calendar. I don't even remember what I have in here next, but I'm going to guess it's going to be a warbler. Yeah. So, prothonotary warblers. One of my absolute favorites. They love swamps. They love flooded woods. This one was actually a very late season one at a couple's yard. They, they have the yard full of native plants. And this thing would come down to bathe in their bird bath. And normally I like more natural settings for my pictures. But since this was in the bird bath and it was actually, I got like the, the head pretty pretty solid and in focus while I could catch action on it shaking its wings, I decided to include it. Like most of the warblers, like I told you, are yellow in color, but prothonotaries are a whole different level of yellow. They're like golden. They just, they just are like jewelry that's hanging from the trees when you see them. Next up, along the lines of the cardinal, I'm getting back into a more common backyard bird, but what an incredible bird when you don't take it for granted. Blue Jays. You know, this is funny. I um, I travel to the West Coast every now and then for work, right? And I will literally sit there and drive around and hike around and work my ass off to find other bluebirds like Scrub Jays that I might not have here. But we have this, which is probably a better looking bird. And just because they're everywhere here, I look the other way. But when you stop to appreciate these things, my God, look at look at the colors on that. And if you don't have these in your area, then I'm sure you can appreciate it more than people from the area. But so I, I wanted to take, like I said, I wanted to make sure I'm uh, appreciating the common stuff here. <laughs> One of my favorite warblers, the Cape May warbler. Now. This is high up on a birder's list. It's something you want to see, especially in the spring when you get these males in breeding color. Um, luckily, three out of the last four years, I've had these in my backyard. Now, I live in a very small plot of land in a very suburban neighborhood. Trenton, New Jersey is literally a mile away. And now that's definitely a city where the suburbs, but it's literally a mile away. So I'm, I'm not in a wooded lot or anything. But for whatever reason, in May, every year, we have about two mini fallouts. And three out of the four years, and it's probably four years in a row, I probably missed it the one year. 
Cape Mays have landed in my backyard. So I've had some short trees, so if I'm patient enough, they'll come down from the canopy and I can get decent shots. So it's been a real treat and uh, yeah, I hope to see him this next year. I, I almost wonder if it's the same individual. It could be, I mean, that happens in birds. Another common bird, but just, a, I got lucky with the shot. It stayed low. An American goldfinch in breeding plumage. The light's kind of uh, washing it out, but I promise you it's a decent picture. Um, another common bird that I take for granted that I wanted to include in there. So I, I'm throwing the cardinal, blue jay, and goldfinch in there. Three totally crisp, bold colors. Um, so this is, you know, this wouldn't be, the way I look at this calendar is, a lot of my stuff is very niche, like snakes of Pennsylvania or salamanders. Like you don't just go buy a salamander calendar for your mom for Christmas, right? But if you're looking for gifts, and like I said in the past, um, it's it's holiday season. If you're gonna spend money anyway, look my way because your money's gonna go to a good cause. It doesn't go in my pocket. It goes all to conservation. This is something I've done for years because I just wanna give back. I don't get anything out of this but the satisfaction of feeling like I did something good. Um, so this, this calendar is built more for gift giving. It's not all warblers. It's not all tanagers like I've done in the past. It's just a very diverse mix of colorful songbirds that, you know, maybe your grandmother would like or your mom would like or your uncle would like. Whoever is kind of into birds but not really a birder that's going and chasing the common cuckoo in Rhode Island this weekend. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm including these. And the last one is my favorite warbler, the Black Burnian Warbler in full song. I've actually visited this guy three years in a row now. He's been using the same trees at the beginning of one of my favorite places to herp. Actually, the funny story on when I first found this guy, I had my friends Mike and Andrea down from uh, Massachusetts and had taken them out. And I think Matt was there too. There's a few people with me. Anyway, you don't probably know who I'm talking about, but um, we're driving down this gravel path to head to our next spot. And I'm ahead of them probably for like a quarter mile because I didn't want to dust them. And I hear with my windows down this black Bernie and singing. Like I said, if you can bird by ear, that's your ticket. Um, I pull over and they pull up. I'm like, you guys go ahead. I'll meet you in a few minutes. I heard a black Bernie singing from this tree and they probably thought I was freaking crazy. But that was my first year with this guy who I'd like to believe is the same guy. Cause like I said, he's singing from the same trees year after year now. And I just go back and visit and look and if I look hard enough and look long enough, he'll come down low enough that I can grab a picture. And this was a new one for this year. So that concludes this calendar, 2021. So as you can see, it's a lot of color there. It's one of my favorite calendars to do. And it's one of the, the best gift giving calendars. Cause it's not, like I said, it's not very niche. Like, you know, I have an all turtles calendar. I have a all salamanders. I have snakes of the Amazon, desert herps. I'll, I'll put a whole list in the comments with uh, details on how to pay for them because I don't think I did that with the first one. Um, so I, you can pay me by PayPal, you can pay me by Venmo, you can send check as long as you're, or money order as long as you're telling me you're gonna do it. And um, all these things are gonna go out, they will be to you in your hands uh, within five days of Christmas. I have pre-ordered 360 of them right now. Um, so a lot of the orders I've been getting right now are gonna go out right away, but these, this is a guaranteed delivery by Christmas so that if you are buying them as a gift, you can get them to whoever needs them. And I really appreciate your support and conservation appreciates it because we've saved a lot, not me. This is just my idea put in action. It's everybody's support that's helped to save a lot. One more thing before I go. Um, the printing company, they uh, raised the rates on me two years ago. So last year I had to get creative and the idea worked out so well that I'm doing it again this year. So like I said, the calendars are $20 a piece, but I also sell prints. I, I don't really push them that much. It's just kind of when somebody asks me. So I have stuff made up that I've sold in the past for like when I did the New Jersey Pine Barrens photo contest, right? And here's one. This is framed, ready to hang. 
uh, print. It's I think it's 18 by 24. I sell these for $289 when I'm selling them full price. So what I'm offering this year and what I would really appreciate is I do a raffle. So if you buy a calendar or you buy two or whatever, for every extra $5 you give, you will get put into a raffle for one of these. You can give me five extra, you can give me 20 extra. It really depends on how much you want it. Every 50 raffle entries, I do a drawing live on Facebook, just like I am right now, and then the winner I will contact. So if James Colburn, you won, maybe you don't like timbers, that's fine. I'm not raffling off a timber. I'm raffling off this ready to hang, professionally printed, and framed photograph, piece of art, whatever you want to call it. So you might say, well, you know, I, I like turtles. What do you have? I, I used to find terrapins down the shore when I was a kid. What do you have as far as diamondback terrapins? So then I would work with you back and forth. I would look through my catalog, send you like my 10 favorites, see if you like anything. And if you like one, you pick it and you're gonna get this except with a terrapin shipped to your door for winning the raffle. If you decide my terrapin pictures suck, we can go back and forth until you're happy. I will go back and forth as many times as it takes to make sure you are happy with your framed picture. So that's what the raffle is, $5 extra. Last year I did four separate drawings. It was really, really successful and it helped me make up for the price increase in my printing. So that's that. And that's it for tonight. I'm gonna to do number three. I don't know, it really depends on how busy I am. I might do number three tomorrow night. Uh, like I said, the details will be in the cons. I appreciate everybody's support. I appreciate you putting up with me spamming you this time of year for six weeks. Like I said, if I did not believe in it, I would not do it, but I do. So <laughs> you're gonna to have to put up with me. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or message me directly. I'd love to hear from you and we'll get this going. Have a good night.